Okay. <laughs> so this week we wanted to share with you uh, the next stage of the bus build. Um, Prudence had her ceiling removed. Yes, and she has a beautiful roller cage under there. Yeah. Um, I, I tried to think of a really cool title to use for this, like the opposite of raising the roof, but we didn't raise the roof. We to oh, oh, roll with it. Roll with it. I was thinking maybe dancing on the ceiling. I could have. Okay. I could have danced <laughs> on the sheet metal after I got it down. There you go. But I didn't. So uh, anyway, so this week we. Uh, we got the uh, sheet metal off the ceiling, and we got a lot of the wire stripped out. Uh, so I hope you enjoy the video, and we will get back to it at the end. This ceiling had well over a thousand screws from front to back. Once all the screws had been removed from the ceiling and the lights and speakers had been unattached, it was time to start removing the ceiling panels. for this part of the project is to do something with all these wires. Uh, so we're going to cut all the wire harnesses out. We are going to remove the wires for uh, the lights that were overhead and for the speakers. Uh, some of that wire will be uh, reused um, when we can do that. And then the wire that needs to stay that goes to the outside lights uh, we're going to put that up with something, back up with something that will hold it up a little better than uh, this really old 
scotch tape. Masking tape, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> so we're just going to start by uh, cutting some of these zip ties off and opening up this harness. because there are fewer wires to deal with. So we'll start there. And we'll start here in the back. So we have some overhead lights. And we're just gonna clip these off. So those two can come over here. And we can pull the wire. One nice long wire we can reuse when we put in the 12 volt system. light wire? Hmm? Is that still for lights there? Yeah, this is still that back light. than the length of the bus, isn't it? Yes, that's, it's that's probably good. 35, 40 feet of wire that we can use to run our LED lights or our fans or any other 12 volt system we're gonna use. Let's go grab the next one. <laughs> I want to turn the camera off. Or do you want me to operate it again? <laughs> it, is it on? It is on. Do you want me okay. to turn that off? <laughs> no, that's okay. So I do have a wire here. There's a flashing light on the top that I know I'm going to take out and probably needs to be gone anyway. So we're going to go ahead and cut that wire. Are you not allowed to be flashing? Uh, I don't know, but I don't want it in there. It's going to be under the solar panels. So there's actually going to be solar panels sitting right on top of where we're at now. So we're going to go ahead and pull this wire out. And we're going to cut 
off these butt joint splices here at the end. And we can run this one back. And we can know this one actually goes to a fuse as well, or a switch, because that light can be turned on and off. I understand on um, like big rigs, if they have lights on them, they all have to be operating or they will be ticketed. Even some that have what appear to be hundreds of lights almost look decorative. Yeah. That they can get pulled over for having those out. I don't believe that is the case for us. This well, is an yeah. RV. But the fewer things we have on the outside. Yes. <laughs> <be> <laughs> anyway. So, so this is a sensor for the emergency exit. We don't want that. And it doesn't work anyway. It's already disconnected. So we can pull that wire. And we can repurpose that. So what we have left are the lights, the three lights on the outside this side and the three lights on the outside on that side. Uh, kind of running lights. And we're going to leave those for now. I may take them out at some point, but uh, for now there's no plans to do that. Uh, so we have harvested as much wire as we can and got all the excess wire out of our way. We do need to tape these up, uh, but then we need to clean this back end out. Uh, some of that insulation is actually more like upholstery fabric or mm -hmm. batting. Filler, batting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're actually going to use some of that for that when we build our love seat slash couch. Uh, for the front area, so we'll save a couple of good pieces and then the rest of that will go away. Uh, the sheet metal we took off the roof uh, will get cut into pieces and we're going to use it to use some of it to cover up some of the windows, uh, some of the windows in the back, uh, some by the shower, <laughs> good idea, uh, yes. some by the, the storage area that's going to be right here. Um, so since it's going to be covered on this side, we'll cover it on the outside and we'll fully insulate it in between. Uh, so we're going to cut some of that up and uh, you'll see that reused in a later project along with the batting. And then the rest of it is all scrap metal and will go away. Yeah, we have a plan for that, don't we? We do. Yes, we do. So, do you want to come end the video with me? Yeah. Okay. We'll do the end it in the bus. We don't do that very often. This is good. I'm usually down. <laughs> oh, it's so sweaty. All right. So what we got here? Uh, we've Spikes. got a blue wire and a red or a black yeah, wire, and we will use this as a positive and negative when we uh, wire the 12 volt system. Uh, we got some really nice pieces that we're going to be able to run the full length of the bus with. Uh, the battery system is going to be in the back. Uh, but we will have USB charging devices all the way up to here. Speakers. And speakers. Front. Well, the speakers will get reused. I'm going to mount those up to the front. Because we'll only list up the side there. Yep. While we're driving. And uh, so we're going to repurpose as much of this as we can. I'm going to wind it up. Sure. I'm going to wind up the. Okay. <laughs> so I, I hope you got something out of this video. Uh, this wasn't a hard or difficult uh, step in the process, it was very time consuming. There were over a thousand screws in that. Um, yeah, I... It was, it was difficult and you needed a lot of muscle. Uh, yeah, it's leverage. getting that angry angle and the leverage mm -hmm. and definitely using the square uh, bit instead of the Phillips mm -hmm. made a big difference. Um, and we'll actually repurpose some of those screws when we attach the sheet metal on the outside over the windows. So again, it wouldn't be prudent to throw it away and then buy new. <laughs> so I hope you got something out of the video. Uh, next week you will see us start... Actually, I'm not sure what the next one's going to be. Uh, <laughs> what are we doing next? Um, we will either be framing in here mm -hmm. or we will be putting sheet metal on some of the windows 
and getting the outside ready to paint. It does need to be painted. It cannot be yellow. Nope. And it, it's going to be a nice beige sand color. Sand. Because mm -hmm. I'm an exciting person like that. <laughs> it's a soothing background neutral color. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. Uh, so if, if you like the video, uh, please uh, click like uh, down below and share the video. And remember to subscribe by clicking the little bell so you get notifications when new videos come. Uh, so, Let's do that. Remember to travel, explore, and live life to its fullest. Good job.